King Charles has been on the throne for just over a month and he's already reshaping the monarchy. From causing back plans for his coronation to allowing cameras to film his official proclamation as king, the 73-year-old is doing things his way. But one of the most notable changes so far is the new king's living arrangements. After it emerged, he will not be moving into Buckingham Palace. While thousands of tourists gather outside to see the heart of the British monarchy, the king will be staying a stone's throw away at Clarence House, where he has lived for almost 20 years. The king is staying put while a massive renovation project is carried out, but it is unclear when or if he will relocate. There have been suggestions he will just use the palace to host receptions and big events. One source previously said he wasn't a fan of the big house, as he calls the palace, and doesn't see it as a viable future home or a house that's fit for purpose in the modern world. Our only glimpses of Charles's Buckingham Palace so far has been his welcoming of dignitaries and new Prime Ministers Liz Truss and now Rishi Sunak. When Queen Elizabeth received Prime Ministers before she moved to Windsor Castle, she did so in her audience room, which was part of her residence in Buckingham Palace. The room was full of royal treasures, antique furniture and some personal touches. Taking pride of place on one of the side tables were an array of pictures, including engagement photos of Harry and Meghan, Kate and William, as well as one of Sarah and Mike Tindall on their wedding day. Elsewhere in the mint-coloured room were a variety of historic mementos, including 8th century English porcelain pheasants valued at £20,000, a white marble and gilt bronze clock said to be worth 4000 and a painting of the Thames from Somerset House Terrace towards the city by Canaletto. Above the fireplace hung an English gilt mirror from the 19th century worth around £30,000, while a French carpet from the 18th century decorated the floor. In contrast, King Charles has chosen not to hold his weekly audience or receive guests in this room. Instead, he has made the 1844 room his new setting to welcome guests. Meanwhile, when the King met Liz Truss for their weekly audience, where that oh dear, oh dear comment happened, we got a glimpse inside another of the palace's vast rooms. As well as ornate furniture and a desk for Charles to work at, there was a picture of Harry and Meghan at Windsor Castle following their wedding in May 2018. The picture shows the couple surrounded by their bridal party along with Queen Elizabeth, Prince Philip, Charles, Camilla and Meghan's mother Doria. Another sweet family snap nearby showed the Queen with her heirs, Charles, William and George, taken in December 2019. While carrying out official government duties, the King was also pictured with his red box in the 18th century room at Buckingham Palace. Charles sat behind a gilded desk, while in the background was a framed black and white photo of his parents, which they gave to George VI for Christmas in 1951. Meanwhile, Charles's intimate family touches are far more apparent at his Clarence House abode. A lot of the incredible artefacts in Clarence House form part of the Queen Mother's collection, having been in her home for five decades before her death in 2002. Images released in 2018 of one of Charles's sitting rooms also shows antique bookcases filled with volumes on topics like gardening, art and painting. Among the artwork on display was a stunning painting depicting the anointing of Queen Alexandra at the coronation of her husband, King Edward VII in 1902, and a porcelain plaque decorated with an unusual scene of a tigress and her cubs. A photo of Charles meeting President Obama at the White House Oval Office in 2011 sat pride of place on a side table, next to a second framed portrait of the Queen, taken as part of the 2016 magazine photo shoot. Aside from precious ornaments, there was an English giltwood sofa upholstered in crimson silk with scrolled supports and legs. Placed on top was a pillow featuring the then Prince of Wales's feathers. Elsewhere, there hung a portrait of the Queen Mother, a mid 18th century giltwood pedestal with lights, a bust of King George VI on top of a break front rosewood cabinet, and a porcelain cockerel that once belonged to Queen Mary and was inherited by Queen Elizabeth in 1953. Meanwhile, the £369 million renovations of Buckingham Palace are set to finish in 2027, so royal fans will have quite a ways to find out how Charles will make his mark if he ever officially calls Buckingham Palace home. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe below for more.